Hey everyone, happy almost Friday. Today wasn't that bad. We made it into the 30s and paired with that sunshine felt pretty nice compared to the start of the week where we saw a lot of 20s and compared to what we're expecting to see tomorrow, oof, we're all gonna wanna rewind and get back to what we saw up there today. So we're gonna not only talk about uh, some frigid air moving on in, but also nice little warm up heading into next week and some snow in between that. So we'll take a look at that forecast uh, throughout the next few minutes, uh, but I have us pulled up on Facebook Live. So if you have any questions uh, throughout this, feel free to ask and I'll try to get to everyone. Alrighty, let's jump right into it. We got Jeremy, hello, from Cleveland. Appreciate being on here. Let's talk about the impactful weather as we head closer to the weekend. So tomorrow morning, gonna be quite the change for us waking up. We're gonna see temperatures uh, near 10, 11, 12. It is really going to be cold, but look at that wind chill. It is gonna feel well below zero. That's starting off early tomorrow morning. Friday afternoon, not much relief. We'll have temperatures climb by a few degrees, but that wind chill still gonna be below zero. And even heading into Saturday, our temperature really drops. That reinforcing cold air really swings on in here. Single digit temperatures to start Saturday and that wind chill is still going to be pretty persistent. All right, we got a few more people on here. Hey, Stella, Cindy, and Ricky. Patricia, thanks for hopping on here. Appreciate it. How are you guys enjoying your Thursday night? Clear so far. We're now starting to see uh, a few snowflakes push into the region, especially up towards Ashtabula. Seems like we could have a few pockets of maybe uh, some uh, light to moderate snowfall, really just kind of encompassing the whole uh, county of Ashtabula. And then even some parts of Lake, it seems like North Madison may be starting to see a few snowflakes now, uh, especially the farther you get away from the lake. Men are maybe a snowflake or two. We're not really gonna see too much accumulation right now. It's really gonna be the overnight where we see uh, just a very small burst of snow. You could see uh, our radar picking up on this uh, a little bit closer to Hamden and uh, even Huntsburg. So we're just starting to see this. Once we get closer to 10 o'clock tonight, we'll start to see the rest of this line really push in. So just seeing the beginnings, and this is this Arctic air mass that we have been talking about. Oh, we got a couple more people on here. Thanks everyone for joining. Even someone from Atlanta, hey there. Oh, you guys have been dealing with rain and maybe even a little bit of freezing rain, messy system. So for tonight, we'll start to see that uh, snow move in. I'd say closer towards 9, 10, and even 11 o'clock. Just gonna be one quick burst of snow and temperatures as we get closer to midnight, that's really when we're expecting that drop off. We'll fall back into the low teens. Breeze picks up as well. Looking at winds 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout the day tomorrow. And that's what's really going to provide that bitter wind chill. Tomorrow, highs only in the mid teens. That, that's as warm as we're gonna get. And that wind chill is not gonna feel very nice either. Speaking of tomorrow morning, here's a look at temperatures and the wind chill right around seven o'clock. So this is leaving the house. If you have a car starter uh, and you could start it from inside, you're, you're gonna be the lucky person tomorrow because I, I don't have one of those. <laughs> and I wish I did uh, because it is just gonna be that cold outside. All right, Patricia, here's a look at the wind chill in the morning. So this is right around seven o'clock, temperatures in the teens, we're looking at 13 in Medina, but gonna feel like negative two. Chardon, uh, 11 temperature, but wind chill negative six, and that's all because of the breeze picking up overnight. Uh, Canton, uh, gonna feel like negative two air temperature in the teens, and even Mansfield, gonna feel like negative six. It's gonna be a day where you're not really gonna want any exposed skin. You're gonna have all those layers on, the hat, the scarf, the, the whole thing. Patty, I'm um, coming from Cali to visit family, not excited about the cold. Oh, I wouldn't be either. Hopefully your family has a couple warm uh, blankets on the bed for you and some warm layers. Uh, Ed, you will like the eight day then. He says, uh, one more day without heat, I hope. Oh, hopefully uh, your heat's working, but uh, temperatures next week will, will look really nice. You won't have to worry about turning the heat on. Oh, someone from Daytona. Hey, Deb. 
Let's take a look at our hour by hour. So here's a look right around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. That's when we'll see a one burst of snow move in. This is going to provide a light coating, uh, especially for areas east of uh, Cuyahoga County. And I'd say even some parts of uh, Independence and uh, Solon, uh, Beechwood, Chagrin Falls, probably going to see a nice little dusting here as we head closer towards 10, 11 o'clock tonight. But uh, once we get into the day tomorrow, overnight, we'll see this mainly into lake effect. So tomorrow, it's mainly going to be a lake effect event. And we're not expecting a big steady stream of the snow. It's really going to be kind of burst here and there. And then as we get into Friday afternoon, it really becomes quiet. So uh, I'd say snow not really going to be a big impact here. It may be a little bit of an inconvenience, but the cold is really what's going to be impactful. And remember Christmas, it's going to be a kind of a similar feel to that. And a snow, snow cold day for the kids tomorrow. Uh, I would think maybe a delay for the kids because of the cold. I don't think the snow should be too big of an issue. Uh, but I think uh, I definitely say kiddos watch out maybe for any delays because of the cold in the morning. Corey, any word on school closings yet? I haven't heard of any yet. Um, and if we do have any, we'll have that uh, running at the bottom of our screen at 10 o'clock tonight. And I believe we have them on our website as well. Uh, that's fox8.com. Uh, All right, okay, let's head into your weekend. Friday night, we're clear and quiet. And then back into Saturday, we will see some more sunshine, which will be really nice. Ricky, tell people to let their water drip tonight so they don't have frozen pipe. Yes great idea um, if you can or your cabinets um, you, you know the cabinet below your sink if you can leave that open just some airflow in there uh, or your bathroom I know a lot of those areas like the kitchen and bathroom sometimes have uh, exposed pipes so a good idea to maybe let that faucet drip tonight and into tomorrow um, just to prevent I uh, would rather have maybe a little bit higher of a water bill than have to deal with a frozen pipe thanks Ricky I appreciate that and Debbie, appreciate you too. In terms of amounts, again, not very uh, scary. <laughs> We're expecting one to two, and that's mainly going to be in our snow belt region. As you get into parts of Ashtabula, I'd say uh, mainly uh, eastern Ashtabula, that's really where we could see a little bit more, maybe uh, two to three, and then into northwestern uh, Pennsylvania, they're really going to see the brunt of this system. Could have a few isolated spots getting a half of an inch, maybe to an inch, depending on where you are, but a, a lot of folks won't even really notice the snow. Uh, I'd say if you are west of Cuyahoga County, probably really not going to see anything beyond a few snowflakes. Let's take a look at this eight day because while tomorrow is going to be a little bit awful, <laughs> at least next week definitely makes up for it. So uh, again, keep in mind, you don't want to spend any time outside, uh, long durations, mind you, um, especially those pets. Watch out for the pets too. You don't want them outside too long either. It's a day where you're going to be in and out um, from car to inside and et cetera. Uh, temperatures will hang out in the teens, but it is going to feel well below zero throughout the day with the wind chill. Snow uh, overnight into early tomorrow, mainly lake effect. And again, accumulation is going to be light. Saturday and Sunday, look at that big improvement. We'll be back in the 30s and 40s. Sunday is going to be fantastic. We'll have a few breaks of sunshine here and there. And then next week, we're talking 50. Isn't that nice? Uh, our next system moves in and we'll be all rain uh, thanks to our temperatures being above freezing. Yes, Cindy, a little heat wave for us next week. We'll be opening up the windows. <laughs> all right. Well, you can find um, the latest information on our website, fox8.com, underneath the forecast discussion. We're always updating that. Or you can join us at 10 o'clock. Again, if we do have any delays or closings, well, we'll be sure to have them on our newscast at 10 and, of course, uh, posted on our website. So feel free to join us there. Stay safe, stay warm, and have a great night.